Welcome into the video. This is the third and wrong YouTube channel and it's just me today, Dylan, holding down the fort. Uh, we are going to be doing my guys for the 2023 NFL draft. And just to preface it, these aren't the best guys. These aren't the, you know, the future Hall of Famers or anything like that. They're just the guys I like to watch play football and I hope that they end up on a good team so that they can blossom into the Hall of Famer that they could potentially be. Um, but before we get into who those people are and the rest of this video, um, please support our small channel. It definitely helps us out a lot if you can give us a like, comment, and subscribe. I know it's a lot to do, but it definitely helps us out if you can do that for us. Um, but we'll get into this video with an intro video, and we'll see you on the other side. So getting into this video here, like I said, this is the my guys for the 2023 NFL draft video. This isn't going to be, you know, people that I think should be first rounders or they should be all pros or should be Hall of Famers or anything like that. These are guys that I think either have um, lost favor with the mainstream consensus opinion and everything like that. And there are people that I think play the game of football extremely well, and I think they can do very good in the NFL given the right circumstance, just like anyone in the NFL draft. So we'll get into this video here and um, kind of break down who they are. Um, so like it says here, my guys, my first one here is um, someone that I think a lot of people um, are getting caught onto now, but I still think he's a lot lower than people um, should have him. So um, that's going to be A.T. Perry. Uh, he's a wide receiver out of Wake Forest, and he does a little bit of everything, but he's very good down the field. He has great hands. He has great um, just plans for the, the, the route that he's running. He he can get on time with his quarterback, and he, he puts a lot of effort into everything before the play goes on. Uh, and like I said, great hands. He has great um, um, size. And for his uh, his height, 6'3", 447 is a really, really good speed. So um, I, I think just uh, athletic and build-wise, he has a lot of potential in the NFL. But if you watch him play, he, he consistently makes plays. He's the He was the number guy, number one guy for Wake Forest and uh, just took a lot of heat but delivered in, at the same time. Uh, so that's something I really like to see. I like really watching his tape the most um, just because he is um, – Someone that you, you would assume that if he was on another team and he had more national attention, he would be going in the top of the second round, maybe even at the later end of the first round. But he's someone that might go uh, uh, in the second round still, but he's going to go later in the second, you know, maybe early third round. So um, A.T. Perry is someone that, you know, you look out for. He's going to be a lot of fun to watch in the NFL. The next one here is going to be Caillou Blue Kelly. He's a cornerback out of Stanford, uh, sitting at six foot, 191 pounds, and he ran a 4.5240. So, like I said at the beginning of this video, these aren't the biggest, strongest, fastest dudes, uh, but these are dudes that play well. Um, Caillou Blue Kelly, if you haven't watched him much, um, he's just all around a, a great corner. Um, always finds himself in the right position. He he's a sure tackler, uh, and even at the Senior Bowl, I believe that's where he went. He performed really well there too. So um, definitely wasn't set up in a lot of the drills. A lot of those drills are wide receiver driven. But Caillou Blue Kelly is someone that I, you know, turned on his tape because I thought his name was kind of interesting. Um, but walked away was like, that's a dude that I could see on my team. And you wouldn't really have to worry about him too much. He's a good corner. Um, and it's just someone that he gets some attention but he has definitely fallen out of the national media attention for whatever reason. You have, you know, dudes like Manuel Forbes and Deontay Banks climbing up the ladders, and it makes it seem like Caillou Blue Kelly is falling down as a prospect. But really, he's he's the same kind of prospect he's always been, if not better than what most people expect. Uh, the next one here is Jalen Duncan. Um, this is a offensive tackle that I think can play 
almost immediately in the NFL. I'm sure there's things that he needs to work on. I will be the first one to tell you I don't know the most about offensive line tape. Um, but watching him, he's someone that I think fits the mold extremely well. Um, he has great athleticism for his frame, and he can do a lot of the little things correct. Um, you know, like I said, I'm not an aficionado or aficionado or however you say it of this position. Um, but I, this is someone I watch. I'm like, okay, I don't understand why he's this, you know, third or fourth round offensive tackle. And I think he could potentially even be, a, you know, if he had the attention, I think he could be a first round tackle and not really have too many issues. Um, and then the next one here I have is Clark Phillips. Um, this guy started off as a first round corner before this last year started and didn't really do too much, in my opinion, to lose that favor other than being the size that he is. But we're seeing now more often than not, and uh, not more often than not, now we're seeing more often than usual that Clark Phillips's size can translate into the NFL and he can find a role um, and play, you know, to his skills. Um, the, the Colts, I know the Patriots have had corners this size and a lot of teams are catching on to that across the league. Getting players this size is not really the detriment that it usually is. Obviously, you know, if you put them on an island with a bigger wide receiver, they're going to go at them all the time. But you got to work that in your system and utilize this kind of player. So I understand he's not going first round, but he's someone that has a lot of ball skill, a lot of um, just ability at the position. And you're going to find a spot on the field for him. And I, I think whoever gets him is going to really like Clark Phillips. Uh, the next one here is probably my favorite running back. And this might be my my guy. You know, this this might be my um, the guy that I'm putting behind as I think this guy is going to be good. I'm going to root for him. And a lot of it is because he played behind, I think, um, oh, what's his face? The other running back there at TCU. Um, totally spacing on it. Uh, but Kendra Miller is you know, no slouch at the position. One of the things that I really like about Kendra Miller is his uh, setup ability. His uh, moves are, I think, in the open field, probably one of the best in the, in the college, at least coming into the draft right now. Um, he also has good speed. He can um, catch. He can do a lot of the things. I would say he's very similar to a Kareem Hunt, in my opinion, or a Aaron Jones in that, right? You know, just like in that style of running back. He's a little bit bigger, uh, a little bit beefier. He still has, you know, some speed to him. Um, but he can do everything at the position, and he does it pretty well. Obviously, you know, the Bajan Robinson and the Jameer Gibbs are probably going to be your, you know, your, your top flight guys. But Kendra Miller, to me, is someone that I I watch him just amazed at his tape. I, I really like watching him run. I think he does everything right as a running back, or at least how I would want to see a running back move. So I really like Kendra Miller. He's probably my my guy. So the last one here is Xavier Hutchinson. And I'm going to say this. I think Xavier Hutchinson is who people want Quentin Jefferson, or sorry, Quentin Johnson to be uh, out of TCU. And the reason why I say that is he's got the size and the frame. He's got the run after the catch. He's got the ability to take a, um, a slant or, um, you know, just really any any route. He can almost take it to the house. Um, he's got that kind of um, long speed in his game. And he just has an ability to make clutch catches. He, he makes catches with his hands and like Quentin Johnston does. And I trust throwing the ball to him way more than I trust throwing Quentin Johnson the ball down the field. Um, obviously, Quentin Johnson is pretty good with the ball in his hands, but Xavier Hutchinson's right at his level in that area and is far better a uh, receiver. Um, and so that's why I saved him last is I think Xavier Hutchinson is who people want Quentin Johnson to be. And if he had the same production as Quentin Johnson as far as being the... Um, in the TCU offense and everything like that, having so much around him where he doesn't have to be the whole focus, especially with two stellar running backs, uh, Xavier Hutchinson would have, you know, produced extremely well too. Uh, so that, that's, these are my guys. Um, again, like I said, these aren't the, you know, far and away best at their positions. I'm not even saying that they're going to be, you know, first or second round locks or anything like that. Um, but these are players that when you get into kind of like the, the, thicker parts of the depth of this class you can find some really good players 
that are going to make an impact most likely in their first season, if not being a starter their first season. And they might be better than a lot of the players that are ranked ahead of them, um, especially players like A.T. Perry, Kendra Miller, and Xavier Hutchinson. It's a lot easier for me to see that part of it. But Clark Phillips and Blue Kelly are going to find a lot of a lot of play in the NFL, um, you know, despite their, say, size for Clark Phillips or um, just the position flexibility with Caillou Blue Kelly, you're going to get a lot of use out of him. So uh, to me, that 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 is it for this video. Um, if you stay till the end of this, I, I know it's one of my shorter videos, but uh, we, we would appreciate a like, comment, and subscribe, you know, do the, the trifecta there. It helps us out a bunch, and we'll keep on putting out more videos for you guys. Thank you, and we'll see you on the next one.